your destiny. Run it to your destiny. Lord, give them speed. May the Lord give you speed to run into your destiny. Fulfill your my God is revival. Let's welcome Dr. Walu with the wife. Can you come to the altar, both of you, and greet us? Come and celebrate them. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll love you forever. Oh, I'll love you Two. All things are working for my good. He's intentional. Come on. Never fail. Come on, say. All things are working for my good. Yeah. He's intentional.
I want us to celebrate the father of this house. Wait a minute. Not just the father of this house, but he's not a city father on the earth. Uh -uh. He's a spiritual father in this nation. I want you to celebrate. Uh -uh. Clap above your head and celebrate grace. We honor you, sir. We celebrate you. We love you. And we don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for this opportunity to come and stand before the children of God this beautiful, beautiful morning. I am not here alone, as you can see. Aha, 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 aha. Now, the very special thing about, about today is that today is Pastor Michelle's birthday. Are you able to sing happy birthday to her? Can we sing a good happy birthday? Happy birthday. Me, I don't want to sing along. I'll feel emotional. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pastor. Happy birthday to you. May the Lord, good Lord, bless you. Come on. That the Lord God Almighty will add wisdom to your life. And the Lord will increase the anointing. And super intelligence will be yours. Ideas out of the spirit. That with long life the Lord will satisfy you. There's no power that will fight your blood. There's no power that will fight your bones. There's no power that will fight your name. There's no power to fight your womb. Mashakunduri kisa kutuza. Rinduzi leke toko samaye kazuze. Jumindi liku zukuzuza makazeze. Janduzo kinda. Rendo zo kumandelele zo suzele katuza mama. That which was long. That which was barren. That which was long. That which was barren. Today, the Lord unlocks your destiny and takes you to the level of influence, of glory, of power. Your star shall shine. Your glory shall manifest. Yes. The presence of God will be tangible in you. That which has been fighting you from the womb of your mother is cut off on this your birthday. Is silenced on this your birthday. The voice of the Lord takes a hold of your voice. The mind of Christ takes a hold of your mind. The mind of Christ, the voice of Christ, the glory of Christ, the power of Christ, the glory of Christ on your life, on this your birthday, that you shall step into glory, you shall step into honor. No more shame, no more delay, no more frustration. We decree the glory of God. Dogs wait. The praises, Makushuki, Iketo Osusa, we command Nations to open, Makando Shoto, Nations to open, Makindo Moto, Nations to open, Makundo Moto, all like his of Oshe, Iketo Osie, Okotoka Pasie, Ratosha, Ikendo Osuzele.
Money shall come. Yes. Opportunities are coming. Yes. Settlement. Yes. Establishment. Yes. And the glory. All I hear is glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory on your life. Somebody shout glory. Yes. Glory. This is your glorious birthday. Somebody give God a shout. Jesus. God bless you. Praise the Lord. One more time, let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm sure she'll say something a little later. Amen. Praise the Lord. One more time, celebrate the woman of God. Hallelujah. I could say a lot about Pastor Michelle. She's an amazing amazing woman of God uh, a, not just because she's my wife but um, many will testify that God uses her greatly and she's, she's God's choice vessel amen so I celebrate her today um, and I've planned activities for the day ah, is to spoil it the woman of God yeah, we will spoil her. Eh, not pangono wa amaningi chabe. Yeah, 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 vayamba kudala. In the spirit it is established. Apostle has already set the course. Hallelujah. Celebrate yourselves as you take your seats in the house of God. Hallelujah. One more time I'm thankful for this opportunity and I will share as the spirit leads me this evening this morning rather and I believe some of the things that we'll get to talk about are very pertinent and I'm praying look at your neighbor say neighbor kunyumba. I find another neighbor smile at them say neighbor take out your notepad get your pen kunyumba. Ehe. The theme of a particular, this particular night is right choice, destiny fulfilled. And I want to handle matters from a vantage point of destiny. And then we'll also touch on matters of relationships and marriage, which are very, very, very important, particularly to this uh, ministry of the peculiar singles. Acts chapter 13, verse 36. Acts 13, verse 36. Give me in the message Bible, rather the amplified version of the Bible. I want to just highlight this scripture and a few others and then we move from there. Do you have Acts chapter 13, verse 36? Acts 13 verse 36. For David after verse 36. That's okay. Uh, okay, let's read in the, in the message and then we'll read in the Amplified. David of course having completed the work God set out for him has been in the grave dust and ashes a long time. He says David, having completed the work God set out for him. When you have completed the work that God has set out for you, then you have fulfilled your destiny. Somebody says, set it out. Okay, we, 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 we normally use that term when you are building a house and they say we are setting it out. We are setting it, we are marking it out. In other words, there are boundaries and corners and predefined areas uh, where God would want you to step and that is what we call your destiny. Give it to me in the Amplified. Let's see what it says in the Amplified. For David, after he had served God's will and purpose and counsel in his own generation. Now, 
it, this scripture brings out a very important aspect. He says, first of all, God, David had, uh, uh, after he had served God's will, number one, and his purpose and counsel in his own generation. Say after me, in my own generation. Say it one more time, say in my own generation. You see, the desire of God is that you fully function and you fully serve and you fulfill everything that God has for you. Ah. Let's pick it in a simpler version, New Living Translation, NLT, 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 NLT. This is not a, ref um, yeah, a reference to David for after David had done the will of God in his own generation. That aspect, friends, is important. I want to announce to you that you, are, you were not born in Jesus' time. No, you were not born in your grandmother's time, your grandfather's time. No, God had it in mind that you will exist right now, right here in 2022. Can I get an amen, somebody? And it's not a mistake that you are here. Turn to somebody tell them, neighbor, it's not a mistake that you are here. For the word of God tells us of Esther and how the uncle tells her to say, for you don't know that you were born for such a time as this. Ah, you were born for this time and this time was designed for you. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Let me show you this thing. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. And follow me closely. Ephesians 2 and verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So that we can do the things he planned for us long ago. Give it to me in the Amplified. It breaks it down nicely. I look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's a plan for your life. Nothing is by mistake. There's a destiny for you. Nothing is by mistake. For we are God's own handiwork. His workmanship. Recreated in Christ Jesus. Born anew. That we may do. Yeah, you see everything here. I can preach on that. That we may do. The works of God must be done. The things of God that God has called you to do must be done. That we may do those good works which he predestined. Read in the black brackets. What does he say? Planned beforehand for us. Taking what? Parts which he prepared ahead of time. That we should walk in them, living the good life. Somebody say the good life. Ah, I challenge you, say the good life. I, I said I challenge you, say the good life. Yeah, 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 yeah. That we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Ah, somebody may be feeling discouraged tonight. Somebody may be feeling low tonight, but I want you to turn to somebody and tell them to say, neighbor, you have a destiny and you have a bright future ahead of you. Tell them, find another neighbor who will smile at you. I think that one is not doing well. Find another neighbor, say, neighbor, you have a great future ahead of you. Ah, uh, what? Say, find another neighbor. Maybe that one is not. Say, neighbor, there are greater things ahead of you. And you see, this is the confidence that we have. So we don't live like everybody else lives. No. We have a destiny. We have a future. Can I quote you one more? I know this one, you know it. You have even despised it and abused it. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I want you to catch a fresh revelation on that one. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. All of this is not by accident. You being here is not by accident. He says, this is God speaking. He says, for I know the thoughts that I have. 
Thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace, not for, he, for evil, to give you hope in your final outcome. God knows how you are completing your race. And like Paul, you'll be able to say, I have run my race, I have fought a good fight. That is the life of a believer. That is the way of a believer. Where you totally die empty. You totally leave the earth. You have offloaded everything that God gave you to offload. You have disposed of everything that God wanted you to dispose of. You have discharged everything that God gave you to discharge. And there's nothing more left to do. And like David, you serve your generation. And there's nothing more to do. You have done everything that God has set for you. Now, can I go deeper? I'm not a papa, but can I go deeper? <sighs> you see, now here is the thing. I want you to realize, beloved, that in this generation, a lot of believers are in slumber. You know, I, you know, the, and I, I, I need to acknowledge my, my father and the Lord Bishop, Dr. David Nama and Prophetess Reverend Joyce Nama. Celebrate them right now. Put your hands together for them. The way they have raised us and the way we have grown, you know, I believe in impartation, man of God. Hey, I don't know how many cars now. Cars, not a car, cars. We have things. You know. And, and that grace of Ndalama. Uh, and you see, what that has done is that it has caused me to interact with non believers in the business world. And I will tell you, I must confess something. That I used to think non-believers are very disorganized because they're going to hell. I was one of those. I'll tell you, I used to think, yeah, kingdom of darkness is just dark. And they're just, you know, they're just disorganized and they don't know what they're doing. To my shock, the kingdom of darkness is very organized. To an extent where... I see why they are very effective in their evil. I'm telling you. And mwana wa satana ngatafuna chita vintu. Awe sama sirira ushikushinshikira. No. They do things well. If if it's a if it's a womanizer they womanize well. <laughs> if it's drinking and partying and clubbing, they club well, well, oh. <laughs> and I realize something. That those people who are perishing, you know they have a thing where they want to discharge they have a thing where ship we ship we madum for pot ship we ship we pabo alwana in a para for pot chimo madum for pot yaso friends listen they, they do it with all their heart their souls their minds and have been challenged because i've realized as children of god we are slumbering us who have life and life more abundantly we are slumbering. Mule shira banana evangelism. Ama pepo. Mule shira banana. Ima mumuzi wa baya. Muna mfeda pati baya. Kaya you are very saved. Mumuzi wa baya. Mumuzi wa baya. I also pointed a buyer. 
akakambati lero tulenu wino twalani wino olwa mwamfula mfula muno mwina tulenu akunwa pantu baya ni baya muno velap these people will finish their pocket they will finish their money and they will buy beer imwe kupasa offering Okay, funsa neba, se neba. Kupasa ofadi ngusira ndani. Eh, usto no penda, ufuna u, ufuna ka change kata. You even have the skill of knowing how a two kwacha feels like on offering time. And hundred kwacha uso mwana invekera. Usto na ha, ha, two kwacha. And I am telling you, beloved, I am very challenged. I am very, not just challenged, but I am vehemently upset because I've realized that even I have I've been playing it safe. I've been living for Jesus safely. You know what I mean, eh? eh not, not, not wanting to look too spiritual. Not wanting to, uh, at no, you look too extreme, you know, trying to be in the name of being balanced. Hallelujah. You want to be careful. Ha, 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 listen to me. The things of God, you must not be careful about them. The things of God, you must be careless about them. Turn to someone and say, I care less. Ah, Paul put it this way. He says, I count not the th- forgetting all the things that I have, all my credit, all of those things I count them as done, that I may attain, that I may know the power of his resurrection. Money is nothing, clothes are nothing, makeup is nothing, Brazilian hair is nothing. Nifuna Yesu and Nifuna Musiba. I want to know Jesus to the core. I want to give him everything I have. I want to give him everything I am. I want to serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my spirit. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You read about the fathers in the Bible. David says, I would rather, better is a day in the house of the Lord than a thousand days elsewhere. I want you to realize tonight that I will not mulala ba church mwe. You are not radical enough. Okay, if you're not excited about God, what are you excited about? No, seriously. What is it that you're excited about? If you're not going to be on fire for God, you want to be on fire for what? Why are we turn to your neighbor? This is a question for all of us, but turn to your neighbor. Why are you asleep? Spiritually, why are you asleep? Academically, when you're supposed to be the head, why are you asleep? Financially, why are you asleep? Now answer your neighbor. Listen, friends, we have work to do. We are in the end times and we have work to do. Now, when I talk about work to do, let's review the Bible. Because sometimes when we say work to do, we don't understand that God has positioned us where we are to serve God with everything that we are. I'll ask you a question. Was Abraham a pastor? Was Isaac a pastor? Was Jacob a pastor? Was Joseph a pastor? Was David a pastor? Was Esther a pastor? Was Daniel a pastor? But all of these are people that in their positions where God placed them, they gave 
God their all. This night, my challenge to you, friends, my challenge to you young people, is that you need to begin to fulfill destiny where God has placed you. And you need to stop being reserved about it. Listen, if you are in a workplace, you must be the head in that workplace. If you are working somewhere, you must be the best employee there. If you are a filling station attendant, let the whole world know that there's a filling station attendant here. If you sell tomato and onion, let them know that there's no other better tomato and onion than at your place. Wherever God has placed you, whoever you are, there must be something about you where you're beginning to grow and increase in the thing that God has given you. We are too dwanzi. Tu alilala ko, you know? Tu alishpula ko. That's how we get those terms at no Mutengwaku Church. What is that? <laughs> yes, it has to be. It has to be the best, sir. It, it has to be. So I'm challenging you, singles. I'm challenging you. Everything about you has to be the best. Kavaridwe. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, no excuse. <laughs> hey, mkani yo samba, kusamba. Hey, no excuse. Listen, listen, listen. I-, I want you to catch this revelation. There is no room in a believer's life unkala wadot. Or even to be average clean. I'm not clean, but I'm clean. Uh-uh. There's no room for that in a child of God's life. Yours is the way of excellence. Ah, uh, you're not hearing me. Yours is the way of excellence. Now, let me let me tell you something. Let me again one two causes that I want to take up. Two causes that I'm seriously taking up. I'm fighting these. And if you can join me, join me. One of them is a fight against Codin. It's ruining young people. In a major way. But the second fight is the fight against bleaching of skin. The bleaching of a bleaching of a bonega ngati mageko. And then vika bleaching us so, vya mbo kusa ati iwe nga tindi o wa black ni shindi o wa dot. When the Bible says in Songs of Solomon, I am black and beautiful. And so for me, I want to fight. I want us to show that natural skin, natural hair, mwanana kupangira mulungu, that is the way to go. God bless you if you are Peruvian hair, still is a Brazilian, still is a hair. But you know. Yo, listen, can I just speak? Can, can I just speak to you? Yo, yo, can I just talk to you? Can I keep it real right now? Listen, listen. What's, what, what's, what's up with this? Why, why, what's up with this whole wig? generation thing going on what happened to our natural hair ladies all the ladies stand up <laughs> turn to your fellow lady say lady, lady. say lady where is your natural hair find another lady around you say lady, lady. do you know that your natural hair the way God made it. Do you know that it's beautiful? Find one more person, smile at them and say, Do you know that it's beautiful? <laughs> Ladies, clap for yourselves. You can take your seats. Ni 
ni saka kupezeni naye mwambo vya mimi vya vosweteka mwambo zola zola because who told you that ukazora uangala manje skin waona unga nishindwe wewe ndio wa mushi i'm actually told that those people that bleach the skin you know some of them they start to even look translucent eh? you can see the veins inside they say that skin if anything happens it's hard to repair yeah you know that eh and your manager skin inunka the chemical for many vijay kuma nkola kununka now you you child of god why would you do that to yourself can i can i talk to you very honestly you see what is happening in the world right now if you are not because you are do you know the bible actually says to say in the night when they slept the the enemy came and saw tears in the wheat while they were sleeping while you are slumbering as believers not just believers in your generation where you are supposed to be a david a mighty warrior uh, yeah, you're not hearing me david was celebrated they said so has killed his thousands david has killed his tens of he was a celebrity in your generation ah uh, if you're not going to be the celebrity musira bandan If you are not going to be the ones that show an example in this generation while you are sleeping things are happening around you to the extent where things of the world are looking good and attractive and the things of God are not looking that attractive when it's supposed to be the other way around our destinies are being hijacked just like that and we are watching No, from my social media, social media. Eh, hey, hey, much vita so because you yourselves are not there. You are not there. And somebody today will tell, proudly tell me, "No, me, I'm not on Facebook." Believe. You are supposed to be there, shining the light. Man of God, just an idea. When we are gathered for service like this, in the U.S. they do it. One of the first agendas in the service is they will ask all of you to go on your social platforms and do a live stream just for five to ten minutes and tell the world to say, this is where church is happening right now. Right. If you are in the nearby neighborhood, come and find us. Everyone takes a corner. I know there's a youth meeting in the morning uh, today. Before the youth meeting starts, or in the middle before lunch, challenge everyone to get their smartphone. Again, if you don't have a smartphone, no, ni chapena kaja kaja ka two hundred kwa chaka. Child of God, we mo na wakwalesa. We ni chwe muri ka latest version aka thirty three ten. Taule foyo usela. No, a smartphone is not a luxury right now. You need a smartphone where you can stream videos and also watch videos. You need it's not a luxury. It's a need. Can I challenge you further? Do you know that dressing well is ministry on its own? When you come to church, you come as if you are going you your best clothes as if you are going to a party. People start seeing you coming here. You are dressed, you know, like your best clothes. Eh? And in fact, in your wardrobe, all of the clothes should be your best clothes. Even that is ministry. Perfume is ministry. Funika wanki number bus wankala mu bus. 
you look good, you smell good, natural skin, natural hair, everything about you is just full of glory. Hallelujah. You are just last. Hey, hey, Uchtika. Hey. Next thing, someone will want to know which church you go to. Who, who is your pastor? What, what, what's, what's happening? People want to know. And suddenly, you will bring many to the light. The Bible says, arise and shine, for your light has come. See, darkness, thick dust, darkness covers the earth. But the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, men, kings, will come to the rising of your dawn you need to rise you need to increase you need to grow you need to be established you oh, listen to me you need to do well and i know you may have challenging situations i understand that but as i always say never stay vulnerable for a long time Maybe when you walked into Shalom Embassy, you were vulnerable. You had one shoe. Maybe you had the patapata. I will have a problem with you if one year later, you still have one shoe. You still have one patapata. Which means there's something about you that is just wrong. Two years, Suchitika. Not the grace that I know that is in this house. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. I'm working this thing. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. This is Paul speaking. He says, but by the grace, the unmerited favor and blessing of God, I am what I am. Everyone say, I am what I am. And his grace towards me was not found to be for nothing. It was not fruitless and without effect. In fact, I worked harder than all of them, the apostles, though it was not really I, but the grace, the unmerited favor and blessing of God which was with me. In other words, because the grace was with me, Give it to me in uh, NLT. New Living Translation. But whatever I am now, it is all because God poured out his special favor on me and not without results. For I have worked harder. Now, maybe give it to me in the NIV. Because I want you to see. I want you to see something. I want you to see. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me was not without effect. Uh -uh. Still, it's not New King James Version. I know we saw it in the other version, but aha, uh -huh, this is what I'm looking for. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. In other words, it is possible that the great grace of God towards you, you can make it of no effect. Him, he says, because of that, because of that grace, I labored more abundantly. And what may cause me to labor more abundantly? It is the grace. In other words, because of the grace on your life, there must be an incremental quality about you. You must be shining from one level of glory to another. You must not make the grace of God of no effect. Don't render it powerless on your life. Because the grace is on you, things must increase. Things must graduate. You must grow. You must do well. So I'm serious when I say, my dear, if you've been in here for seven years, those seven years must show. In your giving, they must show. Your prayer life, it must show. But not only that. Your life at home. It must show. At work. It must show. 
There must be an incremental quality about you. An incremental quality. Something that shows that you muntu achitika. Are you listening to me? Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, he's talking to you. Neighbor, he, uh, say, neighbor, he's talking to you. You must grow. So, now let's tie it in because I needed to begin from that vantage point so that when we're talking about issues of matters of relationships, you must understand that as you are coming to the table of marriage, relationship, you are bringing a destiny. A destiny that is unhampered. A destiny that is not, uh, it doesn't have things hindering it. The best gift you can ever give someone in a relationship is to be someone who is actualized in the Lord. Your partner must not find you to be a thorn in the flesh. They must not find you to be someone who is not accomplished or fulfilled in that destiny. You must be a person who is maximizing. You see, because this is where it matters. Because some of us, we have gotten into relationships way before we, know we, need, we need to even get. In fact, let me put it this way. I'm of the opinion. Now, this is me, not the Lord. This is me. Hopefully, I'm in line. Before you start Vama Love Love. Yamba Vama Love Love na baya wewe. Vizime mushi Vama Love 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 Vama Love Love na yesu. Am I am I in line? Seek ye first, and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Not he way, brother. Ufuna chape magero, ufuna chape magero. Yesu sumuziva. You want relationship with a woman? Your connectivity with God is not proper. That is not. Now let me show you something. Let me show you something. Of course, this is the context of marriage, but you will see what I'm trying to say. Give me Proverbs 12, verse 4. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 4. Let's read it. Everyone, look at the screen somewhere on a count of three. We read. One, two, three, go. Causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. Now, this can apply to a woman to a man, but can also be also man to woman. If you are in a relationship with someone, but you are not proper or correct, the Bible says you are like rottenness in that person's bones. In other words, it's possible that in relationships, you can actually destroy somebody's destiny if you are not a proper person and you want to get into a relationship. Can I go deeper? Remember, I'm not a papa. A lot of men, a lot of women, have been destroyed because they made the wrong choice in terms of a destiny partner. I actually know a man uh, who volunteers. Whenever there's someone getting married, he wants to come and say something. And all he will come and say is, the person that you're marrying, are they really saved properly? Because he went through 20 years of hell in marriage. 20 years and then eventually divorced. So he will normally plead with the couple and say, please, 
marry someone who is aligned and proper. Because otherwise, it will mess your future, it will mess your destiny. So, before we talk about you being in a relationship, are you correcting your destiny? What are you bringing into a relationship? That is very, very important. Now, in line with this scripture, give you a few points and then we get to close. Number one, I want you to know that if you marry a wrong partner, your destiny will be derailed. You will lose direction. Your destiny will be derailed. Number two, if you marry a long part, wrong partner, there's a possibility that your destiny will be delayed. It will be delayed. And number three, if you marry a wrong partner, there's a possibility that your destiny will be destroyed. So, I'm closing now because I think I've laid out the bulk of what I needed to say. But for those of you that are not yet in relationships and maybe those of you that are already in, you need to do an assessment. There are five types of partners you must avoid. These are the ones I want to highlight. Number one, I will not emphasize on it too much. I think this should be obvious. But maybe if it's not obvious to somebody, let's say it. Please, whatever you do, never get in a relationship with a non-Christian. Whatever you do, never get into a relationship with a non-Christian. Can I get a better amen? amen. Maybe talk to your neighbor, they will get you better. Say, neighbor, find another neighbor. Shake them and say, neighbor, whatever you do, never get in a relationship with a non-Christian. Now, if you are married, don't worry. You don't even need to say to neighbor, you are married. That should be obvious. The Bible is very clear about that. Okay? Be careful with that. But number two, number two, avoid the ungodly playboy and seductress in the church. Ungodly playboy and seductress in the church. I'm telling you, they are there everywhere. Trust me. They are there. I was just, <laughs> where I'm coming from, I was just dealing with the issue like that. This young man, I'm not saying any names, but this is what I was dealing with when I, just now, yesterday. This young man is not saved properly. All he does, kula saba saba fi. This praise team member sleeps with them, goes to this Kaasha, sleeps with her, goes to this sister, sleeps. He's not saved properly. Be careful, especially with these two my cute, cute, cute guys. These two my kakalangana kali, very handsome wako. Kupempe das kama pempera mushe. You know what I mean? This is kama kona matangs. You know? An interest service ikachira ikasira chabe service. My dear, walk with me. Service ikasira chabe. Kama pesi kachabe na basi kasega ni C A E You know, all the time in the in the can. You know what I mean? And the, the few hours later, my dear, stand, stand. He's uh, with another one. Rapita na ah ni C A E We ni chani we. In the life, sit down. Careful with those. And I am telling you. They are everywhere in the church. And if you are that kind, may God deal with you. Yeah.
Tulimo tuma boys. Eh? Tikuziba. So you who is properly saved, avoid such a one. Mark them, know them. Where you as a sister, eh? You are from a prayer meeting. Ushita no dabwa, aku zavo enda kuloji. You're like, ah, but it's pimpera. But if you come from Mutima, what dabwa chabe, you know, you're failing to tell me, you can't say such a thing. You can't go to Mutima, you are wrong, brother. Because you are just shocked. The, un- the ungodly playboy, they are in the church. Secondly, the seductress. There are also those young ladies who are in the church. They are not saved properly. But you see, they are used to sex as a habit. Huh? Sex is a habit for them. So, Ngatsana gone open a mamuna in one week. Some there are normal. And they are not far. They are in the church. I'm telling you Hmm. Especially those of you that are serving in ministry, be very careful. Because she will offer herself to you. You are staying alone, brother. So, ah, uh, zero six eight, Kabo knocking up a door. Nabo wash it up over. And she will sit there doing nothing. Mwankara. Story on the Asida. Eh, hey. Can't see me see by him. Eh, a miniature. Where are you from? Asuyenda. Kambo so is a change. Ah, iwe. Kwa fipa. Iwe, tia nkupeleke za kafuna na yambo olida. Ima chitika, ha? Eh, there's a witness. I came to warn you. If you are that kind of young lady, you need deliverance from that spirit of lust. But I fear for you young men. Don't even feel like it's a gift. <laughs> to the extent where you even felt to shimikina someone to say, ah, I'm an azirete. Azirete chape. Azirete chape. No, azirete chape. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you think it's a gift. That is a spirit of Delilah. It's a spirit of Delilah. The seductress. By the time she's finished with you. Two eyes anointing. Power. Brother, when the spirit of the Lord will just. Now you sing. People are just thinking, ah, nchani uyu. Muzi wa kusira. Vama sira. Samson, tukumula. No power. Why? Delaila. Be careful. Delaila, that spirit, still roams around. Avoid. I'm telling you how to protect your destiny. Avoid. Because one entry point that the enemy uses is issues of relationships. Number three type of Christian you should avoid is the worldly Christian. The worldly Christian. If your girlfriend just enjoys things of the world, 
and she gets bored with the things of God, you are with the wrong person. It doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter how what car they drive. It's a he. It doesn't matter how handsome he is. If he's into worldly things, they are not for you. Ladies say amen. amen. All the ladies say amen. Because this is a major problem, especially with the ladies, much more than the men. Kaidi, as ladies, what do we look for mostly? Some of you can even ignore the fact that he doesn't pray. And by the time you start to wake up and you start to think, you realize this guy does not even pray. And now, for me, I love to, to speak very practically. If we checked in here, some of you right now are going out with a person who is not a Christian. Right now. Ladies, all of you look at me. All of you look at me. At Wakambat, ladies, eh? Mufuno via, Madame Cabine. So my eyes are going to see who is not going to look at me when I'm saying, Wam Cabine, Nibam Cabine. Look at someone, tell them if you're a lady, tell them, neighbor. Find another neighbor. You know, this is ministry. They need to know that it's wrong. <laughs> so tell me, neighbor, say, neighbor, going out with a married man is a sin. It's, a, it's wrong. And I don't think this will offend anyone. Now, find another neighbor, say, neighbor, ladies, 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 say, neighbor. Ngatulimo ya jaso. Usie. It's wrong. If somebody has never told you, it's wrong. Musaziku mbwa na ukumbwa. Wakafuna kupaza lift. Muzikana. Kuwaza batidi mwe wako atira imwe. Muzikana. It's wrong. Let's not normalize it. Now, here is the thing. The people who don't pray. Na kusa ni pae manani believers eh. Nefe ni wakari. Nefe wafi chitiratu. You know what I mean? They do it all the way. Now, just because non-believers are doing it successfully, does not mean you, you should slumber and find yourself there also. It's wrong. Eh? It is wrong. So, now number three, worldly Christians. Avoid. Number four. This is going to be a touchy one. Shallow Christians. If you are not mature in the things of God, the last thing you should be thinking about is a boyfriend. This is a tough one. It can be argued. But I think it's safe a man of God that someone must be more serious pursuing Christ instead of Christine. I'm telling you, you must be more serious about Christ, not Christian. Prayer, surimo. Fasting, you've never fasted. Even to ask you what's your favorite scripture, 
ulibe Yesu sumu zila mushe Mwanjeje na usafunira mwamunda ni njani No 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 let's let's be very let's talk let's talk let, very important What are you doing trying to pursue romantic relationships when you don't have a proper relationship with Christ If you don't know Jesus what you need is discipleship That's why some strict churches and I sometimes I understand maybe they're a bit extreme but sometimes I understand they would not the pastor would not want to hear at no girlfriend girlfriend what what, 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 what. Ah, 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 ah. no they want you to finish bible class discipleship what pitam of ones and when you are serving properly in the church then now they allow you to say now you, you by all means but it shouldn't be where it's a rule like that just you as a person assess yourself are you really ready for vama love love? Okay, let me give you a test. Eh? If you are a kind of person where you can get a relationship, seriousness yako na vama lungu ima chepako, which means you are a shallow Christian. Imwe. But you are failing. Why? Because it's too rooted. Ask your neighbor, are you rooted? Ah, yeah, yeah, you are planted. But are you rooted? It matters that you are rooted in Christ. So personally, if I'm discipling somebody, it's it's a rule. Personally, I will tell them to say, if I'm a boyfriend, boyfriend, if I'm a girlfriend, girlfriend, first. Let's establish you in the faith. So, if you're a shallow Christian, you have no business. It doesn't matter how old you are. Don't worry. You have no business in these things. The last type of person you must avoid to get in a relationship with. I don't know how to, I'll just describe them. Yeah, because I don't know how to tame them. Are you ministry? But there been a problem na chimo food. Especially those, those are very dangerous. Ni diko ni mchech. Ni youth leader. Mwasa langana pansi ni langana ni. Ni worship leader. O ama liza ma drums. Every Sunday. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Every service. Alipa ma guitar. O ali in worship. Nga bale sa lead worship. Ni fila mba so. But they don't have, they can just move from Ifilamba worship straight to just eh, eh, Bine. <laughs> you know those that say Apostle must not know? Eh? Masakam very by Apostle. Those that can make you abort three times. And no one must find out. I'm not a papa, but can I go deeper? That type of crop is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Because you see, those are the kind of people that attract things to them, themselves that they don't even understand. And they'll transfer those things on you that you don't understand yourself. You cannot touch the holy things of God and go and be unclean to that level. 
Because God is a holy God. He's a consuming fire. Wamushilo. He's a holy God. There is no way I can be preaching the way I'm preaching. And then find myself in funny things. It's very quiet here. Be careful. I'm telling you who may be a victim to such people. Be careful. In fact, me have read last time I came, I told you if there's a brother like that, don't even worry to say, hey, wenzo chimwa nae. Hey, but you can see such a big chimwa nae. Straight that we have sinned. Anichimuisa. So, kwa nita choka manje manje ndifa na choko nichita utu. Kumunenela. Yes, 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 yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Kushita buwanji? Asha kugona ni kushita buwanji? Worship leader kugona ni kushita buwanji? Eh, manja ikenbe ya kugona wagone wa kuri worship leader. Ni kushita kwa zikuri tuma wali kutuma wa sika na tuina angu. Siba muna chabe, ah. No, no problem. Touch here. Why are you scared? Touch. Osa yopa. Sinza uza aliens. Kwa pezo aso ni kushita buwanji? Kumunenela. Hey, hey. Thank you. Njeba kwesa church. Now let me speak to you who's doing that. Wherever you are, wherever you are, you know yourself. Just because you have not been caught or apostle does not know, doesn't mean God does not know. God knows what you are doing. And God will deal with you all. God will deal with you. If you are serving in any capacity in this ministry, make sure you are serving in spirit and in truth. Don't live a double standard life. Don't. Don't live a double standard life. So, to summarize, to summarize this thing, I have said, number one, avoid the non-Christian. Number two, avoid the playboy and the seductress. Number three, avoid the holy Christian. Number four, avoid the shallow Christian. Number five, avoid the ministry involved but living in sin. These are spirits, eh? They are spirits of Delilah. We know, now, for reference sake, uh, give me Genesis chapter, and I'm closing with this, chapter 49 verse 4. Genesis chapter 49 verse 4. Spirit of Jezebel also, one that takes you away from the worship of God and introduces you to the worship of Baal. But this one says, unstable, now this goes to young men, eh? unstable as water, you shall not excel because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Give me in the message, let's see what it says there. But the Bible, this is talking about, uh, I think this is Reuben. But like a bucket of water spilled, you will be at the top no more. Because you climbed into your father's marriage bed, mounting that couch, and you defiled it. Worst type of immorality. But this is what I want you to see. Immorality makes you unstable. Say with me, immorality makes you unstable. Say with me, immorality takes away excellence. Interpretation. Tell to your neighbor, say neighbor. Vokata kata. Na vochita chita. 
vima ononga excellence eh yeah. and vima panga mundu ngala oh ya wa ya pauzeni ah i don't know whether that is correct interpretation but i think i'm close to so you must be careful to god i'm telling you there are many things that ruin destinies but do you know the major thing that destroys destinies young men mabere david pasiba mabere samson it derails it derails ladies also same thing it will derail you let your focus be on god let your focus be correct align yourself properly all i'm saying in summary tonight is get your destiny in focus fulfill everything god has said for you to fulfill in the generation and then god will give you not just a destiny partner he will give you a prayer partner he will give you a prosperity partner he will give you a productivity partner he will give you because you see if he is set on fulfilling his destiny there's no way god will bear him with a destiny destroyer no god will be too jealous over him And for some of you the delay in your marriage is because probably God does not want maybe the people that are being coming are destiny destroyers. And God is too wanting to align you with his best. Ah. So I want you to stand and I want you to pray over yourself. Stand with me on your feet. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Two prayer points. Prayer point number 1. I want you to pray that you will maximize on your destiny in your generation. I want you to pray that you will become everything that God wants you to be. Prayer point number 2. I want you to pray that god will preserve you in purity from all forms of immorality that rob you of destiny that god will just preserve your life and you will not find yourself ensnared in an illicit relationship in any form of lust that your way will be pure and i'm sensing in my spirit that there are some of you that you have lost your way and you don't know what is to, it is to be pure anymore you don't know what it is to have sexual purity anymore i want you to pray and make a volition and a decision to say father tonight deliver me may i be pure and holy before you may i serve you in righteousness and holiness and nothing of the evil one in that sort to come my way two prayer points begin to pray don't wait for anything if you have to find a corner find a corner around but these are prayers that you pray sincerely raise that keyboard raise it loud and you can pray quietly because these are prayers that you must pray from the heart pray from the heart you can still come to the altar if you have to and just say father i want to realign my life i want to set my destiny uh, on course i want to set my destiny in line with your word and your purpose Ah reba de jata da da brose de de take a moment take a moment take a moment and begin to pray and begin to pray take a moment create an altar create an altar and begin to pray and say father oh god my destiny will not be robbed i will fulfill my assignment in my generation and the enemy will not rob me of that not through uh, immorality not through anything that causes instability ah leka de de brozote de de 
Alebroze, Ale Keterie Terebroso Talelebroso, Ale Kater. I will not lose my place at the top. Ale Berebroja Talalabade Aderebeka. I will not lose my place. Laba Aderebe. I will not lose my sense of excellence. I will not lose my sense of focus. Ah, Badezorio Tolo Lebre Aderia Lalaba. Reta de Rebroso Toriele Lebroja Lalaba. Reta de Bosaya. I will serve the Lord in purity. I will serve the Lord in holiness. Ah, Leka de Ria de Rebroje Lika de Rebo Daya Raba. Raba Baba Baba Bose Teriete de Rebroje de Reda. Laka de Rebroso Tolo Yere Reboca. Set that person on altar. Set that person on altar. Set that person on altar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reba de Gadara Badara. Raba Baba Babo. Jete de Lemande Aremanda. Raba Baba Baba Bode de Ede de Rebroso. Father, I pray, oh God, that Lord, every destiny that has been under attack, Lord, oh God, we pray for realignment. Every destiny that has been under attack, every destiny that the enemy has tried to derail, every destiny, oh God, the enemy has tried to destroy. Father, oh God, we reclaim, we reclaim that destiny, we reclaim that destiny, we reclaim. We reclaim that destiny. We reclaim that destiny. Father, I speak over your children that Lord, they will serve their generation well. They will serve their generation well. They will serve their generation well. Come on, three, four, five minutes. Take some time. Pray and say, Father of oh God, help me, oh God, to be aligned. Help me, oh God, to serve you. Oh God, to serve you in righteousness. Help me, oh God, to, oh God, be impactful. Oh, to give you all I have with everything I am, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Now quickly let me give some direction where are all the musicians let them come and play let everybody come and play now let me give some direction very quickly listen listen this is why, how I want you to pray. I want you to pray with this understanding. I want you to, you know, sometimes we pray for a correct partner. We pray that God should give us a correct partner. But we ourselves are not correct. I want you to pray that, Father, may I get my destiny in order. So that my genuine destiny helper, my partner in life may come. You may even be in a relationship right now, but maybe that person is not your purpose partner. They are not your destiny partner. Maybe because you are not aligned, they are not aligned. I want you to pray that, Father, may I get my destiny in order so that my partner also may come. And Lord, as I get my destiny in order, if this relationship I am in is not working out because I am in order and this person is putting, Father, take them out. Bring the right person in my life. Ah, you're not hearing me. Pray that the right person will come. Why? Because you will be right. Now, you may not have been living correctly. You may not have been okay. You may not have aligned your destiny properly. Now is the time where you can come and say, Father, I'm aligning myself. Father, I want to live in holiness, in purity, and I want to serve you. I don't want to give you half measures. I, I want to give with everything I have. I want to evangelize with everything I have. I want to pray with everything that I have. I want to be a worshiper. I want to be everything 100%. Everything you want me to be. Make me all of that. So that, Lord, when my partner comes, I'm aligned. I want you to pray in that direction. Lift your voices and align yourself in the presence of God. Father, we pray alignment, 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 alignment of destinies right now. Alignment of destinies right now. Those that have been derailed, those that have done things they're not supposed to do. Father of 
God we pray by the blood of Jesus oh cleansing power of the blood washing power of the blood align us back with purpose oh align us back with destiny I will be everything God wants me to be I will do everything God wants me to do I will become everything God wants me to become raise me oh God raise me oh God raise me oh God raise me oh God that the grace of God on my life may not be in vain that the grace of God on my life may not be in vain but father that I may work harder in ministry work harder in prayer work harder in worship work harder oh God in serving you work harder where you have placed me to give you my own make up your mind declare I will never be the same ah Reba I will never be the same I will never be the same I will never be the same Rebo Loriete Rebo take me deeper Rebo Shanda Rebo God take me higher oh higher than I've ever been Lebo Yotolo Lebo Set my life on fire for you. Oh God. I resolve to live for you, to serve you, to honor you, to bless you, my God. Ah, listen, listen. We need to do a bit of warfare. Because I sense some of you, the devil has tried to steal your destiny. You know that who you are in the Lord is not what you are being right now. You know you are more the worshiper than you are being right now. You know you could be more on fire than you have been right now. At work, you are not performing how you are supposed to. Your business, you know that your business is not going as well as it should. Now, if you understand where some of us come from, we have graces for, for money. Graces for these things. Actually, those of you in business, I want you to come to the altar. You know your business has not been running how it should. I want you to come. We pray together. You know your ministry has not been how it's supposed to be. You, you know that you are supposed to be more on fire than you are. I want you to grab a hold and say, Father, I'm taking my destiny back. I am testing, I'm taking my destiny. This is not me. This is not me. I am more than this. I want you to kneel before the Lord. I want you to kneel and begin to pray. And say, Father, I claim my destiny. I take back what belongs to me. I take back my business. I take back my, I take it back. I take it, I take back my ministry. I take back those things that you have called me for. I, I want to begin to move in that fire again. I want to move in that fire again. I want to move in the word again. Come on, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back, take it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it back. Take it back, take it back. Take it back. You are not losing your destiny. You are not losing your destiny. Men of God, please let's pray. Let's pray with them. Pale kateriye terebosha, la katerebosha. Hey, shele lebosha. Pale leborio toreboya. I will not lose my destiny. I will not lose my destiny. Pale pariele lebosha. Ah, she tereborio no leboria. Pale pate repa de kate a de kate. She da da ga da ga da la lebosha. Pate le lebosha. Pale keterebosha. Shede kete kete riaha, pale le bosha taria daraba, pale kataria daraba, pale rio poto rebo, pale rio torobo, pale kete.
you will be on fire again you will be on fire again you will be on fire again you are not losing your destiny hey, your destiny will not be derailed your destiny will not be derailed your destiny will not I speak to that business hey, it will be profitable again it will be profitable again it will be profitable again your ministry will flourish your ministry will flourish your ministry will flourish fire Take back your destiny. Take back your destiny. Take back your destiny. Shelele bariara la bose. Shelele moda ya la bae. Shelele moda ya da la bae and the border. Rera la ba 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 ba. Sosa se jalera bagadai. Go and fulfill purpose. Go and fulfill destiny. Go and fulfill purpose. Go and fulfill destiny. No one will bring you down. Reality. Stability. 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 You'll be stable. You'll be stable. No one will deceive you. Go and succeed. Go and fulfill purpose. Every agent of the devil on assignment to, do, to destroy your destiny. Today, the destiny destroyer is cut off. The destiny destroyer will never touch your destiny. Power release, glory release. Shamaya de de de, ike de de mo shalaba ba, ike ke 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 to mo magande kuyosi ye, ike de de mo shere, ike de de mo shaba kanda la, ike de de mo siku 